we blew it. Some news came in to Han Solo Board Gaming that we goofed a rule in our last video photosynthesis. Assaulting my Saturday morning like extreme winds during a storm, Gail, the forester from Wangi Wangi, New South Wales, Australia, called me out with the tenacity of a Tasmanian devil. The winds died down for a second, but she eventually blew the roof off the whole thing. Evidently, I was doing shadows wrong during the photosynthesis phase. I wasn't accounting for smaller trees in front of bigger trees and subtracting that, so it resulted in everyone getting more points than they should have. First off here, I want to thank Gal for reaching out to me and letting me know about the mistake. It's really important to me that I put out quality videos and good constructive criticism like that and, and fault callouts are essential to that happening, so thank you, Gal. Secondly, I'd just like to go back and point out that if you read between the lines and listen to her pauses, you can tell that I pleased Gal to no end with this video. So even though a bad rule miss, pretty, pretty, pretty good episode that you should uh, check out after this one. The only thing less subtle than her admiration for my ability to make killer playthrough videos was her passion for the truth and for the game. Seeing her root out the correct answer and her talk about her interactions with Cynthia was actually a real joy for me. I'm seeing that these type of interactions are the things that keep me motivated and inspired to continue in putting out my passion for board games to you all. So thanks again, Gail. Now, on to the game. Released in 2017, designed by Uwe Rosenberg, illustrated by Patrick Soder, and published by Lookout Games, New Sword is a mid to lightweight Euro economic board game based on a fishing village in Norway. Once you know this game's bits and rules, you can get a solo play done in between 30 to 45 minutes. It comes solo out of the box with two solo modes, a regular and advanced, um, and it's a simple block your own spaces solo variant, so very easy to manage. This game is all about looking at the possible combinations of buildings that are available to you that, that game, pairing those buildings with things like an elder or share or fishing fleet strategy is going to be your key each and every time you sit down to play this game. With three different decks, four if you get the place expansion, you get to learn about making these connections over and over and over again when you get out each new deck. So in terms of replayability, there is a lot there. The thing I like is just discovering each building's ability and seeing how it breaks the rules or changes your gameplay in some way. So how about you come watch me find some new buildings to explore while I solo play Newsfjord. Hey everyone, here we have set up Newsfjord solo. We're actually going to go with the advanced solo side. There's this normal solo game where you have two alternating colors taking up spots. We're going to go with the advanced. So we're going to have three different colors. What that means is this first turn I'm going to put out my red markers and my red markers are going to stay on the action board until I come back here. So I'm essentially creating a path um, for myself. That's a whole extra um, dimension to this solo play that you're going to see here today. So we're all set up with our advanced solo setup. To do that we're only going to have three of each type of ship. We're going to have only the elder cards that have the one number on it. Um, and, uh, and that's it. And then we're going to get our three colors for our workers. The other big setup thing is choosing your deck. Now, one of the great things about Newsfjord is they've got different levels of deck. They've got, and I don't remember the names of these fish, but they've got a level one, a level two, and a level three in the base game. Um, we're playing here with the place deck expansion pack. Okay. Um, one of the things about this game that makes it great is the replayability of the decks. Getting to know these buildings and how they engine together and combo together 
and work together, the symmetry they can create. So now let's just kind of take you around the board if you haven't played New Shore, just so you're a little familiar. This is my action area. We're going to be doing different things like building ships, using elders, um, buying and uh, selling and buying shares so I can get more uh, income. And income in this game is mostly going to be fish. Um, that's going to be our big supply here. Um, I'm going to be able to manipulate my board by adding forest or removing forest so that I can... Um, grow more wood so that's going to be or have more wood so that's going to be the action area here this is the housing of the ships and the elders ships are going to have a purchase price that's in the upper left hand corner and then i'm going to add them here to my my uh my shipping track um, and this is going to determine how many fish i bring in each upkeep phase each fish, fishing phase right now with my cat boat I start with three fish, so I'm going to distribute three fish, and uh, I did that already, but I'm going to go back <clears throat> and, and re-show re you what that looks like. Um, just out of habit, when preparing the board, I just do that because it's the very first thing you do. So you can add ships here and slowly increase the amount of fish you bring in, and any victory points, any stars you see, that's going to be victory points in this game. Um, victory points are... You know, between a 25 and 40 is a, a pretty good range here uh, with this advanced deck and with this advanced track. I think I've scored around 24 to 27 points on average. So um, to give you an idea of what, when, when you see a schooner for four points, you'll not know what four points really means in this game. Um, then we've got this section here, though. This is your your buildings that you're going to be able to get. There's A buildings, which are going to be cheaper, give you fewer points, but maybe start giving you a few extra things you're able to do in a turn or really uh, build up a, a big move. Then you've got your Bs that could give you points or give you some really nice effects. One other change we're making here or one other setup note is we're going to go with the Rado variant, I believe it's called. Someone reminded me of it recently. Um, that's where we deal out the C level cards right away. Normally in the game, <clears throat> base and solo, you don't reveal the buildings till you're instructed to the level C building. So that'd be round four and round six. But in with this variant, you now know what the biggest point cards are going to give you. So you can work through that in the seven turns you have to get there. Because in all honesty, this game is very fast paced um, and only having three rounds to get one of those big cards and really have it play off for you uh, can be put a little bit too much stress on you. So just open the game up a little bit more and reveal those at the beginning, I think was the idea by Rado on that one. Okay, um, so that's um, here, uh, last part area that I didn't really explain here. This is just my personal supply where I'm going to keep things. I can have a maximum of 12 wood here. This is share. Uh, these come into play during the fishing phase. These are the shares I have in my own company. That means I'll get those fish right away during that phase. This is my pile of unissued shares, and they can become issued shares by taking actions on the action board and paying gold um, to make it so. This is the <coughs> elder banquet table. I'm going to ha have the chance to get five elders uh, to, uh, to my, my reserve here, and then I'd be able to use their actions. But... Having elders, I have to serve them fish and give them dinner in order to do to pay for those actions. So I'm going to have to have a steady income of fish if I want to use elders and their souped-up actions. So you'll find that it's probably worth it. So that being said, I think that takes us around everywhere on the board. Let's get going with our first turn. We start with our fishing phase, and we look at our income, our, our amount that we're going to be pulling in our haul size, and that's going to be three. So we're going to take three fish, and we're going to divide them amongst a few things, okay? The first thing we're going to check is see if we have any elders. We don't have any elders to fill up, so that's not going to happen now. Our shares in foreign possession. So in the solo play, this is going to, step two is going to be ignored in the fishing phase. We don't have to worry about it at all. So st we go on right from step one to step three. So now I'm going to put one fish on each share that I have in my own supply. Okay, I've got that. Any left over will then go into the reserve. My reserve can hold a total of eight fish. It can hold as much gold or as much wood as I want, but only eight fish. Um, once I have eight fish, then I would go to step five, return them to the general supply if I couldn't house them in my reserve. So that's the end of the fishing phase. So now we take the action phase. So the action phase is where I'm going to place these three tokens around the board. So before we start making decisions of what we want to do, let's take a look at our our 
our buildings and what combos we can maybe pair together. So one of the best parts of New Shored um, is the, these buildings here because each each building kind of gives you a special ability to let you break a rule or have some sort of advantage over others. So when we look at a building, this of course is our is the victory points it's going to be worth at the end. This is the name of it. This is the pawn shop. Here we have the cost, one wood and one fish. So it's pretty cheap um, and it's not going to give you a lot of points. So let's hope this ability is worth the time and effort. At any time, discard two identical goods from your reserve, moving them woman to your supply. So this pawn shop would would essentially replace you having to take this action, this transfer rever, transfer reserve action, on the player board, meaning you'd have to spend one less action to do it. Meaning you could spend that action doing something else. So that could be a really nice way to if I'm if I'm anticipating that I'm going to have a lot of goods in my reserve, meaning I am not going to increase the shares in my company, but I am going to increase my fleet size, meaning I'll have a lot of leftovers. Then I might want to do that. Okay, but we've got to see what other things we're working towards to see am I going to take that route. So we took the, we that's what the A's kind of do for us. They kind of give us a, a, a special ability to kind of work. So like if I deal this export hall which is worth two victory points and cost me three woods. After I build a ship, so after I take a sh an action to build one of the three ships, uh, move up the three fish from your reserve into your supply. So that's another way of skipping that transfer reserve uh, action and getting things into your office. Here, if I'm planning on, this is a really great one, if I'm planning on doing elders, after you place a worker on an elder, before they take the action, I get two wood. So I've got to see where I want to go um, and what then I'm going to decide what's going to take me there. And that, that's where this whole variant of displaying the C cards is, um, is gaining traction and gaining favor because um, these things are going to cost a, a pretty penny to get um, when you look at the, the, what other things here cost. And they don't really usually give you much of a, uh, an improvement in your ability in game. So... Here, you're going to get one victory point per building showing a fish cost. So this is going to get, provide you no benefit, but you could score it at the end. And if I didn't know that this was the card that was going to come out from the beginning, I might not, and then this is the card that comes out and it's the only one I could afford because I have lots of fish, but I don't have a lot of buildings that have fish on them, then I'm, I'm, I'm a sore loser. But now knowing this, I could pick up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eleven, twelve, including this one. That's 12 victory points. That's a, a big, big, big victory point uh, score if, if, if possible. Now I'd have to have space on my buildings to do it, but you can see how these buildings can, can lead into each other. So let's take a look at what we want to, to work towards. So we'll take a look at our C level one. Seven victory points if you have two ships of each two types. So. This one, I, if I want, if I want to work towards this one, I know I'm going to have to build a lot of ships, which means I'm going to need a lot of wood and a lot of fish. Retreat. Once there are five plus fish on your elders in the returning home phase, you get five gold. So it's going to get me victory points, but gold at the end is victory points. So this is a five point card if I have fish on my elders. So pair this one with my civic office. Now all of a sudden I'm using the elders, and then I'm going to get a benefit for doing that, and it really just pairs itself really well. Monument at the end of the game, four other buildings with zero victory points lose their victory points. So I'm going to lose victory points on maybe, say, the pawn shop and the dry dock and the, the forest, the alluvial forest, but I'm going to get eight points. So maybe that's a trade off that's worth it. Um, let's see. Immediately get one three wood per elder. So that's the third card that I'm seeing that's going to help us with elders and getting wood um, or some benefit from it. Uh, five victory points if all spaces in the bottom row contain a building. Immediately, if built before round seven, get three fish and three wood. Ooh, but that's going to take 10 coins. That's going to be really hard to do. Um, one victory point per building showing the fish cost is what I talked about before. Okay, maybe I... I, oh, I think the ships are hard to do. I think this one and maybe the elders... These three C cards, maybe those are the three I'm going to focus on trying to get. Okay, so sometimes in this game, one of the things I do is I 
cards that I just know that I don't want to use or have no interest in using, I just turn them over and flip over. So as I'm playing, that might happen. That's what I'm doing now with the C. Like, okay, these are the ones I'm going for now. Um, there's not a lot of surprise now. There's no more actual um, surprise or luck um, in it. Everything is revealed. So now I'm just working towards those three things. So I'm saying, here's my task. I'm gonna, I want to try to build these three buildings, which means I'm gonna need at least three there, right? Um, I want to focus on getting ones with fish. So the civic office, which helps me with the elder, gives me a fish. So I definitely want to do that one. The pawn shop has a fish. I've never done the pawn shop. I always thought it was been, going to a pawn shop was beneath my station in life, but I think in this game it might fit to fit me well. I'm, if I'm getting a lot of fish, I'm going to want to just pull it and not have to waste that action on transferring from the reserve. Um, let's see what else. Oh, here we go. One elder, one word per elder in your supply and reserve. Um, I get one in the supply and the reserve for each elder. So that's another one, and it's a fish on it. Oh, and here another one. Immediately one gold per elder into your reserve. Okay, so we've, we've got we've got three for elders here. One, two, three, and then that pawn shop I think is where we're gonna go. That's all of them are fish except for that one. Yep, fish, fish. Yep, so that's a, a pretty good, uh, pretty good, uh, I think, roadmap of what we're going to try to get done here. So first things first, I start with two fish. There's none of these buildings that I indicated that just cost fish, so I need something else. Um, and I think all of them are triggered on based on elders, so I don't want to build them just yet. So I want to get my elders first, and I want to get up my fishes so I can so I can use those elders and get fish on them. So... Let's take a look at our f elders. One of my favorite elders is the pond builder. He lets us distribute fish again so we get even more of them. Um, yeah, I think that's where I'm going to focus here. And then maybe, maybe I get some wood to increase my fish if I can get two wood. So uh, let's thin out. I'm going to thin out. Thin out is I'm going to count the number of forests on my board and take that much wood. So I'm going to get one, two here, three because there's one, and another one is four. So I'm going to get four wood, four wood into my supply. Okay, so now I could, hmm, I could take an elder. I could just build that ship. Let's build that ship. We're spending two wood and two fish to build the sloop which I place here and increases my haul size from three to five. So I'm going to be getting five fish. One, two will go here. I don't have any elders to feed. So two will go here and three will go into my reserve. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm kind of building up my reserve here already. So maybe, oh, I don't have enough to, to get that pawn shop. But maybe I can wait till next turn when I do have it. So until then, what could I do? I could remove some forest to get more gold and use the forest manager. I could issue a share and get some gold. That might be a good idea since I've got this up already. Let's issue that. Oh, but if I'm going to use the pawn shop, maybe I don't. I can issue and get the gold. Let's do that. So I'll do this one, issuing a share. I literally just take the un, one of the unissued shares, put it on the board, waiting for someone to buy it. I'm the only person who's going to buy it, and I get two gold for doing that. Two gold could be two points at the victory points at the end, or I could use gold um, to buy buildings or buy um, ships. So I placed all three of my workers. So this is the, I think it's like the return home phase. And in the normal game, you take off your workers. In, uh, in our phase, we just move it to the next turn marker is two. So now we begin the second turn. We begin with the fishing phase. Our haul size is now five. So we're going to have five fish to dole out. And we're going to start with elders. Don't have any. So then I'm going to go to shares in my personal supply. I have two and then three going to reserve and I'm not over my max. So it's okay to be there. Okay. So then these two from the share come into my supply. That's the fishing phase. So now is the action phase with these three blue workers. So I can't place any on these three here because you know, all of them have just a number one, uh, the number one on it, meaning only one thing can be there. I have enough for my pawn shop now, so I think I'm going to go ahead 
and buy that building for one fish and one wood. And then at any time I can discard two identical goods from reserve, moving one of them to my supply. So I'm going to do, um, I'm going to just do both of them, and I'm going to get two more fish in my supply. So that leaves me with three fish. I think the next thing I'm going to do is I think I need to start getting some uh, some uh, some elders. And I wonder if. I'm, I'm looking at either the sailor, no, I'm the pond builder, which is going to let me distribute fish, four fish plus a, how, for however many buildings I have. So I have five fish. So it would go one onto the pond builder, two, three here, and then four, five in this one. So that would give me five fish at the end of this turn. Or do I get the harbor master, which lets me exchange my ship for a bigger one? And I think saying it out loud makes me want to do the harbor master. So now I'm going to take, I'm going to place them the take, a harbor, the take the elder and use them immediately. I place them in here. I have to serve him food. So if I didn't have this fish in here, I couldn't take this action because anytime you take their action, you have to feed them fish, serve them, give them this, is paying them their respects. Um, and now I can exchange my sloop for a cutter. So now instead of five, I'm going to get six fish into my uh, in, in, during the fishing phase. Um, so now I can't do any more elders, but hopefully with this next phase, I'm going to have a lot more fish and then I can, um, reserve some, uh, some dishes and also gain gold by doing it. So knowing that I have not enough fish, oh, gold. Ooh, uh, I could get the savings club, one wood and one gold. And I'd get one gold per elder, but that's not going to have enough of a payoff. So that's not very good. Here, immediately plus one fish per set of wood and gold in your supply. I'd have zero, so that's not going to be worth it. And this one says, the forest, after I build a ship using my first worker, I lose wood. My second worker, I get a wood. My third worker, I get three wood. Ooh, that sounds very nice. And that costs a gold. That's build a building. It means I, I, if I go here, I could only build one more building in for the next one, two. I wouldn't be able to build in one building in the next two rounds. I think that's okay though, because I want to focus on getting, on, uh, on getting a hard, larger hand size, which would be great. So I'll do, you know, exchanging to get a new ship or this or that, and then then build a ship and get wood back. So yes, let's do it. I'm going to build that forest for one gold. That's going to cover up a spot. And the nice thing is whenever you're, you know, you're covering up these negative uh, spots whenever you build a building. So at least it's a point swing. It's a one point card really, even though it says zero. Although I lost a point by getting rid of that gold. That's the cruelty of this game is, you know, you have to spend victory points to get victory points. You have to risk losing victory points in order to try to gain victory points. It's, it's very tight. Okay, those are my three actions. So now we're in the, the return home phase, which is just going to be moving on to our third set of workers. So now I've got six locations that are blocked to me um, in this turn. So you can see how, how it's, a, it's compared to the regular one where there's only two sets, it's definitely going to fill up a lot faster. So we're now in the fishing phase of our third turn, and we're going to get six fish to distribute amongst the elders and ourselves. So I first drop it down on the harbor master. Then I add them to my shares, and then we put them into the reserve. And there's no, there's, I'm not at my max, so that it, it takes all the fish there. So now I'm going to place my three here. I've got five. I could have six. That'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. That'd be three served, three gold. I'd have no fish left over, though, but I could then take another elder and distribute fish, which would be nice. So yes, let's do that. I think that was part of our plan. So we are going to first use my pawn ship to discard two, to remove one of them over here. So now I've got six. Then I'm going to serve fish here, and I'm going to serve. You put a fish in the dish for the number. This one is one, so I put one there, and I get one gold for it. Here has a two, so I put I have two, one goes in, the other is discarded, and I get a gold for it. And this one says three. So I have three, I discard three, put one in it, and get a gold back. Good. 
Now I'm going to copy the action of taking an elder. And I'm going to take the pond builder. I'm going to move this fish over here to use them. And I'm going to distribute four fish plus one fish per building. So four, five, six fish I'm going to distribute again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, just count on my fish. So they go on the elders. One, because it follows the same uh, pattern. Two on the elders, two on my share, and then two go back into the the to the reserve. Now, all once a an elder has three fish on them. There's three spots you can see on the card here. Once all those three are filled, what happens is one goes into your reserve, into your supply, excuse me, the other two are discarded away. Okay, so one more fish on this pond builder and I'll get one in there. Okay, then I'm going to also use my pawn shop ability, discard two, moving one to discard and one into my supply. So now I've got four fish, four gold, and a wood. I could get this one. Ooh, this is very good. The civic office is perfect timing here. So we're going to do another building here, um, which is going to be here. Mm. So now it's going to be two rounds so I can build another building. So I'm going to have to build up for the those seeds because before we know it, we're on round four here. So I'm going to build a civic office for one wood and three fish. After I place a worker on an elder, I get two wood. So I think I'm going to start doing that because I have them and the board is a little bit full. And those are my three actions there. So the take home phase, I'm finally going to return some workers home. I'm going to move it up here to red. And normally this would be the first time that I see those C buildings. That's, that'd be the very first time um, that I would know to work towards those things. And maybe I hadn't chosen this path of getting elders. And then I see that there's three uh, that say elders on it. Now I'm remorseful. That I didn't uh, that I didn't do that strategy. So I'm at, at C here. I'm at, I'm sorry. Um, I placed I should be placing the C buildings out, but already did it. So we're now we're going to retrieve the color that it's matching, which is red. Okay. Now we go to our fishing phase. We ha still have a hand a hall size of six coming out. And we're going to drop it on the harbor master on the pond builder on our shares and then into the reserve and this pond builder is triggered we're going to get an extra one into our supply very good so now we are back to it i think we're going to need some wood here relatively soon the question is do i want to remove wood or just thin out i think at this point i'm going to have to remove wood this is very unfortunate because I would like to use the force manager to get my elders up, but I can't take an elder action until next round. So I think on this one I'm going to maybe... Do I need the wood now? I like the idea of just doing the harbor master now. Distributing fish. Oh, I could go here and get wood equal to my hall size. That's six wood and four points. I could afford it right now, but I can't build a building. And I can't get an elder to build a building. Ooh. So I think I think I'm gonna go here and use my harbor master, which is gonna cover him up, and I exchange my cutter for a schooner, which is a two point increase. It doesn't increase my hall size yet, but it's two victory points. And I get two wood because I just used an elder. Now the question is, I think I'm going to buy a ship for two wood and two fish so that I can continue to use that harbor master. I'll be able to do it twice because I'll, he'll be covered. No, one, I'm only going to do it one more time. Hmm, is that worth it? I don't think that's exactly worth it. So let's take that back because he's going to be covered until we get back to red. And that's going to give me one time to upgrade that sloop. That's a two-point move right there. And it's not going to... I don't know if the hull size is worth it. So maybe I do the, the discharge and get four points. I mean, it's... Yeah, I think I'm going to... But I can't, I can't do a building. I can't build a building. All right, let's, let's actually... Uh, this one was here. We're going to actually do the, the pond builder at least. Four, we're going to distribute seven fish. So it's going to go Harbor Master, Pond Builder, Share, Share, and then over to my Reserve. And then I'm going to do 
Discard two, one in the supply, one away. Discard two, one in the supply, one away. Discard two, one in the supply, one away. Wow. That pawn shop is pretty awesome. I'm super glad I got it. Okay, so now I've got one left. Um, did I, why did I go here? Was I building a ship? I don't think I was building that ship. So that would have gone here. Sorry. Harbor Master. That should have been there. Yep, I totally messed up because I did do this action. Then I built a ship. That was the action I took away was the build a ship. So that should have actually moved both of them there, which then would have cleared him off after doing the distributing. Now I've got fish. Maybe I serve, but I can't serve because... Because that's blocked there and there. I can't copy any actions there. I, can, I can't take that sailor to serve either. So I'm kind of stuck with these fish for a turn. So what can I do? I could issue another share and get two more gold. I think that's the thing I want to do. Because I think I'm going to do this and get six wood. So let's do that. We're going to issue another share and get two more gold. Because I'm going to need two, three, three gold. Three, six gold in total to get that and now I'm at six gold so I at least can fund all of my buildings that I want to do those are my three red actions so we're gonna return home blue now I can get some of those buildings but the thing is I don't know if I'm ready for them all who knows okay so let's go on to this fifth round the fishing phase we're gonna have a haul size of six still one on the harbor master, one on the pond builder, one on each share, two into the reserve. This one's going to join my supply. Discarded. Those go over there. Okay. So I could take an, an, an elder, which I think I'm going to do. And I think I'm going to serve fish. So I'm going to take the sail. Oh, I can't though. I can't because I don't have any there. And I still can't serve any fish. So I can't get any elders. Ooh, that's so bad. Okay. So I can do this building for two fish and three gold. And I get the discharge. Okay. And I'm going to immediately get six wood. Okay. I've got two actions left. I can't take an elder because I can't use them. So cause should I build a ship or build another building? I don't think I need the workhouse now necessarily. One gold per, uh, it's only two points. I don't know if that's worth it either now. Let's look at our C's. Can I build a C? 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. No, well, I could trade and get 12. And four wood, one victory point for fish. One, two, three, that'd be four right now. Four points. Ugh. I guess that'd be better. Although that's going to get me more fish, and I can. I'm not going to be able to use elders again until then. Mm. This eating up spaces is de definitely makes it much tighter to get things done. So the question is, do I build a building or do I build a ship? I think I'm also going to have to remove force, but I don't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now there's no point to do it. I guess I can thin out and get four, but now I want to remove it so I have more spaces for buildings to buy in the next two rounds. Although if I put them here, I'm only going to be able, I'm literally only going to be able to buy one more building. Maybe two, if I get this, I can do the sailor and the, let's build that C building. Ugh, I don't like it. I'm not happy about it. And it's going to make it so, so, uh, I can't do it, no. I think it's going to make it so hard to get, to get the um, serving of the fish so I can use these out, so I can get this elder. So I think I'm going to build that, I'm going to build a ship. I'm going to build a cutter. And it's going to cost me six wood and one gold. It's just two extra fish, but it could turn into a two, four points if, if I can, if I do the Harbor Master one more time. Okay, and I've got one, one left here. 
And I think it's going to be to remove one forest and get five wood. Oh, I should have gotten one wood here for that ship. But let's say I did it third because I don't think any order mattered. I'd ha I had everything. So I'm going to get actually, I'll take the three extra wood for my alluvian forest and say I did the, this first and then I built that, that cutter. So loaded with wood again. Which I don't know because maybe I can get another schooner. Okay, so we're going to return home, going to yellow. Yellow is coming back. And then we're going to do our haul fishing phase. We have eight. Okay, we're going to put a harbor master, pond builder, our issued shares, and into the reserve. These are going to come back. I'm going to use my pawn ship ability to keep one, two, keep one, two, keep one. Okay, so we definitely want to serve fish. That's definitely what we're doing. We're doing one, two, three, I think. I'm trying to think how many, how many I'm going to actually, actually do. I want to do two more elders. I'm definitely going to do this one one more time. So that's one fish. And if I get two more elders, that's two more fish. That would be, let me activate all of them. So I think that's okay. We'll stop there because I think we'll need the fish for other stuff. So now I'm going to take this elder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So hold on. Maybe I got to build something first because this is all going to give me wood. Maybe my second action should be to build a building. Five gold, two wood, one fish, one. I'm looking at this retreat here <clears throat> to try to determine if I want to add that one. I can get five gold, which is basically five points. Minus one gold is four points, but I get that point back. So this is a five point card. I'll lose some wood, but I have to trigger it by getting five fish on here. So if, I, I mean, I use, I use, I do the elder, then I'm going to get the five fish there. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's going to, I'll, I'll definitely trigger that one. So I think, I think that's the building I'll buy. I still need to buy this building, the canteen for fish. That would give me one, two, three, four, five points for that one. That's a pretty hefty sized one. So I think if we get those two buildings. So which one do I want to do? I have 12 fish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't have 12 fish. So we got to build this one, the retreat, which is going to cost me two wood, a fish, and a gold. OK. Um, and then I'm going to think I'm going to do an elder. And I'm going to, I wanted to serve fish, but how many would I get? Three, six. I don't necessarily, I need more fish than I need wood or gold at this point. So is there a, sh is there a th six and one? I could build another cutter, that's two points. Or I could build another building. I need to be able to build this building. But I could be able to do that one then. So that should be okay if I want to build another building that's heavy on wood and low on fish. I'm trying to decide which of these. The boat rental lets me build some ships, but I have to return two ships before scoring. I'm going to get a sloop and a cutter. I'll just return them back. So the question is getting those two. Is that going to be enough? Do I want those fish? Am I going to serve fish at the end? No, I'm not going to be able to serve fish at the end because I'm not going to get any of those back. So that's not going to be good for me. Um, I wanted another elder before I did that one because it's just two points. It's not really worth it. It doesn't even have a fish on it. I could do the workhouse is two points, three points because it's got a fish. Um, and I would get wood in both spots. I don't need wood. There's nothing I need wood for, though. Whenever you distribute, this is a 3.1. 
it lets you skip step five, which is general supply. They actually go back into year supply, but I'm not I'm not kicking over anything into it. So that's just literally three points. Okay, this could be nice. Ah, but it doesn't do the fish, but I get one fish for every wood and gold. So that'd be four fish. That's another plate. Hmm. And then I, I need fish for the canteen. Okay, let's do let's do this one. So we'll build a building. And we'll use our, our red elder to get that one later here to get the fish meal plant. It's gonna cost me four fish. One, two, three, four fish, four wood, and one gold coin. It's three victory points. Four because I mean I still I haven't gotten this one yet, so I don't really have it, but I'm I'm banking on getting it. Okay, so now we are moving on to that was the third worker, so we're moving on to number seven here. We're returning home our red. And then we're distributing eight fish. Okay, we're gonna put one on the harbor master, one on the pond builder, two on my shares, and these four go into the pawn shop, or into the, uh, they're gonna be going through the pawn shop, but they're in my reserve first. Now it says once there are five fish on your elders uh, in the returning home phase. Oh, it's gonna be in the returning home phase. So this actually goes away. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna get it then. So I've gotta do it. One, two, three, four. Oh. I have to take two elders, I think. Oh, that might I might have been I might have screwed myself here. Okay, so let's take an elder. We're gonna build a ship or a building. Oh, hold on. Actually, we're gonna do this. Trading our at our pawn shop. Do I have twelve fish now? I don't know if I do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't. So actually the first thing we're gonna do is go here to distribute fish. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fish. So harbor master, shoot, that's triggered. Pond builder, share, share. Put these in the reserve. One, two, three, four, five, six, which then actually we'll just put them three into our supply. I used an elder, so I get two more wood. I'm then gonna, oh man, yeah, I think it's this, I think it's gonna be this one then. I'm gonna use this guy here. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna have enough fish there to trigger it, ugh. That's so disappointing. Okay, and I get to exchange this cutter for a schooner. And then I'm gonna use this elder. Ugh. And use this fish to build a building, which is gonna be this one for 12 fish, the canteen, four wood, one, two, three, four, and 12 fish, one, two. Okay, those are our three actions, that's the end of our round. Now we just count up our points on this, this, uh, okay, uh, this is gonna, that stings, I think. So we get one for the pawn shop, one for the civic office, that's two. Plus four is six, seven, one point for each one with a fish. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen plus four, seventeen, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, minus one, twenty-five points on this go. So what I say at the beginning, twenty-four to twenty-seven. If I would have held this one, I would have been 29, which I think would have been my highest one. So triggering that five fish on your elders and the returning home, it would have been this phase here. One, two, three, four. I don't have five. Ugh. That was nice. That was tight right here. Those actions deciding what I did in a round had consequences in the future. Would I be able to have enough uh, opportunities to buy? Could I take enough elders? I had this plan in the beginning of all these elders and I couldn't get it done. Still very tight and still very fun and probably uh, take away all my fluff thinking and, and, uh, and pregame. You got this done. We got this done in probably about 30 minutes of playtime. That's been news for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed it.